Valentine's Day, everybody. Happy Glitter Pit Day. Happy Dawn Day. Happy Wednesday. Happy Valentine's Day. Everything's happening today. Everybody was in the early bird chat. Thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate you guys showing up faithfully. All you fellow stampers out there. So, what's new? It looks like it's a pretty day out today, but it's a little chilly. So, I feel like it's a roller coaster ride here in Michigan. It gets nice, and then it gets cold. Then it gets nice, then it gets cold. But, we heard geese flying over last night when we went to the gym. And it was like, oh, that means spring is right around the corner, right? Is that what that means? Or when you see a robin or, yeah. Let me know what you guys think when the first day of spring is showing up. When you start hearing some birds or, yeah, when the snow doesn't stick. I'm just moving my garbage pail over here. All right, so most of you guys got my newsletter and you guys seen the cute card we're going to make. We're going to jump right into that. But first, before we do that, we're going to give a glitter giveaway away. An early bird glitter giveaway. Our early bird glitter spinner, I should say. So let me go ahead and flip this over. Right here, right here. No, that's not right. <laughs> All right, hold on a second. There we go. All right. Oh, look at the boxes I made for three of my special ladies. I'm seeing one right now. She's right here. Her name is Lori. You guys won't see her, but she's here today. And then these two are for tomorrow. So, aren't they cute? They hold a bunch of candy. We're not making this today, sorry. But we're, I needed some Valentine's Day gifts. So I made these cute little boxes and it holds all these candies. Hopefully you guys seen this on my website today. So very cute. So I made a, a three of them. And of course I didn't make one for Richard because we're not eating candy. So these are for three ladies. And it just says Happy Valentine's Day. Aren't they cute? And I used the Be My Valentine all around, but those are going out tomorrow. And then Lori's got hers today. All right, so here is the host code for this month. Remember, you get a small gift when you use this host code for any orders under $150. Use this host code and you'll get a small gift mid-March. And then here is the printable for today's card we're going to make. It's so cute using the cutest cows. It, this is called a rocker card. I don't know if I've ever made this card before. But it is so cute and it's so perfect for our deckled circles. Love that. Alright, and we're going to give away for the early bird glitter spinner the adhesive back hearts and flowers. How appropriate for Valentine's Day, right? So let me get my spinner. I'm going to spin the comments. Let me turn my comments on first here. Hold on. Let's do this. Get everything situated. <laughs> I'm not going to take my iPad off of my stand because you guys know what's going to happen. And then I know I had two videos posted for the live today. So what, is, what happens when I go live? I have to have all my devices. So I have two iPads and my cell phone all on the same Wi-Fi device, or sorry, the same Wi-Fi um, code or the same Wi-Fi link, right? So it was not registering, one of them was not registering right, so that's why it had two of them, but I deleted it, hopefully you guys are not there. If you are, this is the current live right now, okay? Hopefully you made it now. I tried to come on early about 2.30, so everybody can come on the early bird chat and just hang out with us for a little bit. Uh, thank you. Yes. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah, she's telling somebody if you use the host code, do you still get the FSM tokens? Yes. Great question. Yes. I have switched that now. So you do get the token for every $50 and for celebration too, you'll get to pick a celebration item. So when you use the host code, just don't use it for orders over $150, okay? Remember, you're going to get your own Stampin' Rewards for that. All right, let's go ahead and spin for my flowers and hearts. Spinning. Oh, that's Rena! Yay! Rena, Rena. Rena, did you guys know she's a glitter queen? Rena is a glitter queen. 
So I will get these sent out to you hopefully tonight because Richard is going to take me out to dinner for Valentine's Day. I'm so excited. He brought home flowers last night. And I even said, don't be going crazy for Valentine's Day. So I got him a cute card, which is like the card we're making today, but it's Valentine themed. So I'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek of that card because he did not get his card yet. I'm going to give it to him tonight at dinner. Well, let me write on here what these are for. This is for the hearts. And flowers. Oh, this pen doesn't work very good. Hold on. Hearts and flowers. Yay, Rena! Congratulations. Ooh, ooh. <clears throat> Yay, Rena! All right, so I will get those sent out to you tonight, and probably we'll go out first thing in the morning. Our um, postal truck at the post office. The last pickup I think is it two or it might be at five just depends all right so thank you everybody everybody's congratulating you rena can you see it uh thank you beth thank you pat all right so let's go ahead and show you the card we're gonna make today and we're gonna jump right into that all right so don't forget the printable you can click on that down below in the description box also, if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, can I just make a plea, please? Can you subscribe? YouTube is not sharing my links for notification and my YouTube subscribers are dropping like flies. Please go make sure you're already subscribed. And if you haven't, could you please, please, please subscribe? I would appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, so the printable it has all, of course it has a picture of the project. The measurements and the supplies we're using okay and you can print that off for free the video is free the printable is free okay so here is the card it's so cute the rocking part of the card is because it rocks back and forth <laughs> don't you love it so adorable and it sits up so cute now I'm going to show you the one that I made for Richard a little bit later but inside his I put a little mechanism so it doesn't open but if you want to do that, the only reason you want to do that is if your card is like heavy in the front. And if you don't put anything in the back, it might kind of go flat. But I've made three of them and they're all good. It's just my husband's, I put a little stand in the inside and I'll give you all the measurements and everything for that, what I did. But he'll put his on his end table. So I don't want that going flat. Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh, the cows are so cute. All right, so that's the card. This is the bundle we're using, the cutest cows. This is in a bundle that you can save 10% when you purchase them both together. So you buy the stamp set and the, the punch. And there is a separate item number for the bundle. Or you can buy them separately. But these are in the mini catalog, the January through April mini catalog. And so we're going to color. I did not do any prep work except for the die cutting, okay? In the bow, I, I'm just going to show you a couple different bows. But I did do a little stamping ahead of time just for that little circle. So it would be a little bit easier for me to punch out with the dies. So I did, I did stamp and die cut that. But I'm going to show you exactly what I did. All right? So we'll set that aside just in case I mess up. All right, let me show you exactly what we're going to do. These are scraps for stamping. All right, so you're going to use the deckled circles. You guys know when these came out, we were in love because I think there's, I want to say there's a total of 16 circles in this die collection. And it's like the holy grail of circles, let me tell you. All right. So I'm going to show you exactly what circles I used. And I'm going to tell you the number, all right. And I'll tell you if I'm counting from the outside or the inside. <laughs> All right, so the base of the card is basic white, and you're going to use the second to the largest die for that. And the reason we're using this die is because it will fit into a regular size envelope. So the die measures, I think the, it measures five and a half, but it's still cut a little bit smaller. So use the second to the largest, cut out a basic white. And then we're going to cut out more basic white here. Hold on. Let me get all my circles out. All right. So then you're going to cut out another circle. This one is the seventh size 
from the inside. So this is this one right here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh circle from the inside. Then the next size down is going to be with the designer paper, which is the pool party. This is from, let me show you this pack of paper here. This is from Celebration. This is called Softly Stippled. Let me show you this one. This is a free celebration item for a $50 order. And you get all these papers. They are so beautiful. They coordinate with that Stipple Rose stamp set. This is the pool party one that I'm using. This is the back side with the, um, the wheat color. Isn't that one pretty? All right, and then that one. I was gonna, I was thinking about using that one too. All right, so this is the paper softly stippled, free for dur during celebration right now, which we have a couple weeks left. Please make sure you're getting your favorites. So I cut out this size circle with the next size down, so it's the sixth circle counting from the inside, the smallest. So that one's the sixth. That's going to layer onto that. And then the next size down from the largest <clears throat> is this one here. The third one down is the one I cut with the designer paper. And you're just going to cut out half of the circle. So you're just going to turn it over and then cut out only half. So line up, just eyeball it approximately. We're still gonna cut some probably on this just to make it fit better under the card, but you won't need the whole circle unless you're making two cards, okay? So just cut half of the circle with the same designer paper. And then the next size down for the circle is, let me see here. This one is the one, two, three, fourth one down for the deckled circles for this one. And this one has the sunflowers on it. Let me show you the card again. This is the layer behind the cows with the sunflowers. Can you see that? So that is the one, two, three, fourth circle down from the smallest. Okay. So we got four, six and seven from the smallest. Then we got two and three from the largest, all right? And all this is on the printable, I believe. It should be all on the printable. All right, and then the other circle that I cut out was from the stylish shapes. And I cut the second from the smallest for the greeting, which is, it's your special day. And I just went ahead and cut that out. I'm gonna try to stamp it with you guys live. Okay, so that one's the second from the smallest with the stylish shapes. And then I cut out the banner is the most narrowest die, which is right here. And still the, the stylish shapes. So this is that one, all right? I just die cut out this banner. And this is going to go on the inside of our card with our second cow. Okay, so that's that. All right, now... <clears throat> Do you have any questions before we get started? I've had to check my subscriptions. Okay, Irene. Oh, thank you, Irene. Oh, no, Arliss. Okay, so she had to check too. Thank you. Please check. I don't know why YouTube's doing that. It's making me so sad. All right. Um, let me just scroll back here really quick before we start. I love the deckled edge, Denise says. Me too. That's a big circle die. Yeah, and you know what? We used to have a large circle die set, but they retired so many years ago. And we were so sad because the selection wasn't very big. Like, I remember I made a Cookie Monster card, and I used a large circle. I think it was actually the largest circle. But you can't make a cookie, well, you can. It's just that, you know, when you're making it for like a kid's birthday or something, you want it to be nice and big and blue, right, for Cookie Monster. So this would be perfect. These circles are perfect for all these kinds of cards. I just love this rocker. It's just so clever. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp all our images because those are going to take the longest part of this card. So let me go ahead and stamp. I'm going to first stamp my sunflowers on that 
the um, the this is the way this layer is going to go together right here. You got that seventh size circle, then the six, and then the fourth, right from the smallest. So we're going to stamp on the fourth size with the sunflowers. We're just going to stamp the sunflowers right in the center. And then I'm going to color those in. Okay. And then we're going to stamp our cows. I'm going to stamp two cows. I'm going to use the same body. Now you're going to notice with the stamp set that all the bodies do not work with the punch. Only this one does. Okay. So I would highly recommend if you want to use these bodies, just stamp them on a circle and then punch out the head. It, it will be still adorable. Okay, so you have one that's laying down, one that's got his foot up with the udders, or her, <laughs> right? Okay, so but we're going to stamp two of the cow bodies. I'm going to stamp both of them over here. And the bodies are without their head. <laughs> I know, it looks kind of crazy like that. But you're going to pop up the head, okay? And then we're going to stamp our two cow faces. I think there's only one cow face that doesn't quite stamp with the punch. So there's this one. And then this one I like for the front with his face. He's got a winking eye. He's adorable. I'll show you these up close. These, both of these faces work with the punch. Perfect. <clears throat> All right. Then I'm going to take the smallest circle. I'm going to stamp. It's your special day. Oh, I can stamp this. This is a photopolymer stamp set. This is in the same stamp set too. This is also really cute for all the greetings. So it's your special day. Thank you. Milk it for all it's worth, which is what we're stamping on the banner. Holy cow. Congratulations. What's moo with you? Moo playing on the cow. And then the little things you do make such a big difference. And then, um, then there's even one, two, two extra faces that you can stamp. And then three little birds. So cute. All right, so we're going to stamp. It's your special day right in the center of this small circle. Hopefully I centered that good. Yeah, pretty good. And then we're going to take the banner. Remember, these two are stitched around the edges, which is nice. And we're going to stamp, milk it for all it's worth. We're going to stamp that right in the center of that banner. So cute. Okay, so there's everything stamped, right? Yeah. Now we're going to color. All right, let me get all my colors over here. Remember, the blends are sold in combos, so they're, you get the light and the dark. So even though it looks like I'm using a lot of markers, I'm actually only using like the light of the Cajun Craze. I'm only using the, the dark, or is it the light of the basic black? I'm using the dark for the basic black. Crumb Cake, I'm using both Daffodil and the Lemon Lime Twist. I'm using both, okay? All right, so we're going to color our sunflowers with the daffodil and I'm going to color the outside petal with the dark. These are all really very easy to color and I'll show you up close because I know I'm kind of far away in my zooming. So I'm just coloring the petals with the daffodil, delight, dark. Daffodil light, and I'm going to go on the inside circle part. And then my Cajun Craze light, I'm going to take that color and color the very center of my sunflowers. Alright, then we're going to use the Lemon Lime Twist. I'm going to take the light start coloring the leaves. I'm going to color only half of the leaf with the light 
and then I'm going to color the other half with the dirt. So there's a little contrast for the coloring. Sorry, that's Lori vacuuming upstairs. She's my um, my housekeeper that comes once a month. And she was running late today. So that's what you're hearing her vacuuming my floors. <laughs> Alright, so I took the light lemon lime twist. I'm going to take the dark and I'm going to do the other half of my leaves. Oh my gosh, it sounds terrible. take the basic black and the dark and I'm just going to color in the spots for the body that's done <laughs> well my kitchen apparently is right over my classroom here and I got wood floors in my kitchen and my dining room and then my formal dining room so the wood floors are very echoey where's my face is at right here all right so we're gonna color in his little hairdo little frou-frou-y part on top and I'm just going to color the bridge of his nose with the black. And then color this one's hair with uh, Smoky Slate Dark, I believe. Yeah, Smoky Slate Dark. Just a little bit of a different color there. Okay, now we're going to take our Petal Pink Light. We're going to color in his mouth area and his nose and his inside of his ears okay I think that's it you guys want me to show you up close so here's the face and then the body okay well, what did I use the crumb cake for I don't think I used anything for the crumb cake did I no, I didn't even use anything for the crumb cake. All right, now this stamp set comes with the bundle is a punch, which we all love our punches, right? So I always use my punch upside down, and I'm just going to line up that cow, the body, with the punch. And just punch that out. So there's the body. I know, it looks so weird without the head. But this is... I think this is called actually the cow builder punch because we're building the cow, like with the pieces of the cow. And then the face is up here. So we're going to punch out the face. There's the one with the regular eyes. And then the smiley face over here. Or the winky face. He's cute. I think he's my favorite. All right. There are other punches on this. You have the horns, I believe that is what that is. The, you know, the horns. And then you have, I think this is for the little birdie, maybe. And then you have the muzzle. So if you wanted to punch out his nose and his mouth and then stamp another face, too, you can do that, too. Isn't that cute? So this is a builder punch because you get to build the pieces of your cow. Okay, so now we're going to use dimensionals. We're going to pop up our cow head. Just putting the dimensional on the where the head's going to go up here. We're just going to build him up like that. Look how cute. He's so cute. And then this one is the one that's going to go inside the card. Again, put a dimensional. All right. 
So there's the other cow. Just two different style faces for him, okay? All right, now let's put our card together. So now we're going to take our basic white and you're going to fold this in half. Like this is a really easy card and so much fun to make. And it will fit into a regular size envelope too. All right, so we're going to take our bone folder and crease that fold really nice. And now I'm going to use my grid paper unless I have an envelope over here. Let me see if I got an envelope. You know what? I think I do. I got a, an envelope from Laura Wilshire. <laughs> Laura, I'll use your envelope as an example. So you can take an envelope or you can use your grid paper. No matter what, you want to make sure your card is not going to be bigger or taller than the envelope, all right? So you can just take a regular size envelope and just position it right where you want it, right? And then you're gonna take the circle. We gotta put all the designer paper and stuff on there. But you wanna make sure that you're gonna be building the card to fit into your envelope, okay? All right, now before we do all that, we're gonna put our designer paper on. Remember we cut half of a circle out? So we're gonna layer this over top of the basic white of the base. And line it up where you want it, and then you're just going to move it up a little bit, like maybe an eighth of an inch, making sure everything's straight. And then I'm going to flip this over, and I'm going to draw a pencil line. Let me get my pencil. I'm going to draw a pencil line right along that top of that card edge, right there. And then we're going to cut that line, and then your piece should fit really, really nice on your base of your card. So I'm cutting it from the pencil side. I'm just going to line this up on the, the track of my paper trimmer. And I'm going to use the dark blade for cutting. Remember, we have a light score blade for scoring. And you can keep both blades on this paper trimmer at the same time. It works really nice. So just push it up and out of the way. So our track is bigger than any cardstock that we have. So the whatever blade you're using, the other one can be tucked up top or at the bottom. Okay? So line up your pencil line where we have it on the track with the... So we can cut that over piece out. And then if you have to cut more, just remember, it's better to cut less so you can cut more, but it should fit. So then you just layer this onto your basic white like this. Cute. All right, let me get some liquid glue. Wow, that was a big pop. I'm going to use our liquid glue. Put that on the back because this is a little bit more manageable when you're putting this onto the base and you want it to line up really nice. So you get a little wiggle room there. Okay, and then let's glue our circle. Remember, this is six and seven from the smallest for the circles. Seven was the one for the basic white, and then six was for the designer paper. Put that onto the white. Okay, now let's grab our envelope. Remember, this is the way the card's going to open. So we're going to put this at the bottom, making sure not to go over the envelope. It's definitely small enough this way. But you want to make sure you get the right height for the card. So I'm just going to put some adhesive. Where's my adhesive at? There it is. I'm going to put some adhesive on the bottom of my circle. Just a little bit. That sticky part is what's going to stick onto the base of the card. So we're going to make sure that this is going to be just under the envelope. So it fits into a regular size envelope. Okay? And then you can see how it rocks. <laughs> that cute. All right, and then it's just a matter of decorating it. So we're going to put our, let me see, I got my, my other sunflowers here, my other white circle. So we're going to put that onto the center of that other circle here. And then I thought it was just cute popping the cows up. I like the one that's winking. 
I'm going to put him on the front. Put a couple dimensionals on him. And we're going to put this one right over top of that sunflower. Now remember, if you go above this circle, you got to pay attention so it doesn't go over so the envelope will be able to close, right? So, but if you want to put the cow way over here to the side, you, you're still going to have clearance for your envelope. You know what I mean? If you want to do that. I'm not putting them up that high. So I'm putting them right where the sunflowers are, right here. And I'm going to put, it's your special day. I'm going to pop that up on a dimensional. And then I'm putting this one right down here, right below his foot on the bottom left. Right about there. And then I thought to, you know, jazz it up a little bit, you can put a bow here. So the ribbon that I'm using is the Pool Party Grow Grain ribbon. This is the 3 8 ribbon. This is in the, the annual catalog. But I wanted to show you, you could also use the Pool Party ribbon that's for free during celebration. I felt personally this was too big and it was like a big knot. So if you don't mind paying extra postage for that little bump, Go right ahead and use this beautiful ruffled ribbon. This is free for a celebration for a $50 order. But look how cute that would look up here on the card. So that's with the larger, thicker ribbon. Not thicker, but wider, I guess. Wider ribbon. And then I thought you could use the gingham ribbon, which is really cute. Let me trim this down a little bit. So this would be cute, too. Just a little like a black and white checkered ribbon that would be cute and you're just going to attach it with the glue dot but i'm going to use the grow grain the pool pool party grow grain ribbon this ties beautifully as well as the other ones and it's um a little bit not so wide it's three eighths compared to what is the ribbon in the celebration let me look that up does anybody know off the top of their head what the width is of that ribbon? I'll look. And then also, depending on if you're giving this card away to somebody in person, like face to face, that would make a difference too. So the ribbon is where? Back to the front. I swear the ribbon is, on, there it is. Okay, it's five eighths. So this ribbon is three eighths and the ruffled ribbon that's free is five eighths. So it's a little bit wider, okay? It's on page six, right down here. Did you guys see it was there? <laughs> I swear some of the stuff is so hidden. So we're just gonna tie a little bow with the grow grain ribbon. I'm just gonna trim this down. And then we're going to take a glue dot, actually two glue dots. I'm going to put two glue dots up here in the corner. I had both of these cards sitting on my buffet upstairs. And they were sitting so cute. Isn't that adorable? Oh, all right. Now the inside. Now this is another thing. You could add another circle if you wanted to on the back to have like a place for signing. But I thought for these, I'm going to have a place to sign in the inside of the card. So this is totally up to you. I'm going to put my, um, I think I used the mini dimensionals for this. Hold on. Let me look for those. I feel like I'm so organized, but then I got to look for my dimensionals. They're in my little holder here. So I'm going to put two dimensionals on my banner. I'm going to put this on the inside. Now, if you use your bone folder and you crease this really good, it should sit up really nice. Okay. So milk it for all it's worth because it's your special day. I'm going to put this towards the, the bottom of my card. 
because I remember I got to put my cow in here too. I'm going to pop him up. I'm going to set him over here. Oh, wait, I got to lower it down even more. I don't want that cow to interfere with folding of my card. Okay, so put my cow over here. Just like that. So there's the inside of my card. You have a place to sign up here. And then you can also sign on the back if you want. So that's the card. Isn't it cute? Let me crease this again really good. And it does sit up so perfectly. Look at that. Here's this one. Same card. So adorable. I love it. All right, let me show you the other ones. And then again, you can pick your bow, whatever one you want to use. All right, so let me show you the one. Also, what do you guys think? I'm going to be um, doing a class. And it's going to be a product-based class, but it's using the new Latte Love. And I was thinking that I was wanting to do a class with that, but just know that it is an online exclusive and it's already on back order. So maybe that might change my mind. But let me know if you guys want me to offer you that. It can be a product-based class, which means you get the lot, Latte Love stamp set and the punch. And then I'm gonna make it like into a little class so you guys can get the designer paper and stuff. But I use the Latte Love for my other rocker card, isn't it cute? And I use the silver foil sheets for the spoons. Isn't that card so cute? And again, I just put, I cut out the next size down with the deckled circle, again, like I did for the designer paper on the cow and this one with the designer paper. But I just cut it out with the white and then I just measured it from the front and then it still fit on the inside. So there's nothing on the back, just the signing for the front. And then this says, you're the best part of my day. And then this one says, hello, hello there, let's catch up. So cute. And then the cups are from, the sorry, not celebration, but the cups are from the designer paper. And then the, the spoons are in the die collection, which I cut out with foil sheet. So cute. So this one also rocks really cute. Oh, so cute. Let's just get them all rocking here. <laughs> and then my husband's Valentine's Day card. This is this one using the Be My Valentine. And I'm going to show you this one is has a little, um, I don't know. It's not a step, but it keeps the card from like going flat in the back. It's connected for the little step on the inside. So it's always going to sit up perfectly on his end table. Isn't it cute? And it says, you'll always be the one for me. And then I love you. And then I add the cute little bees. And then the Be Mine designer paper with the real red. Now let me show you what the step is on the inside. So this piece is cut at three by three. And you're going to score it at a half inch one and a half and two and a half and then you're gonna fold up your step for the inside of your card let me show you on the cow oh, let me show you on the coffee one maybe you definitely want to use the same color of the cardstock for your step but you're just gonna put liquid glue on your half inch strips here I would put one at a time put your liquid glue here or your tear and tape and then put that right up against that fold the fold line Glue that down and then glue your other half inch piece down and then close your card. So you would hear it closed, but it's got enough little give that it's going to sit up perfectly. It's not going to want to go open, even though I haven't found it to be that way with these. They sit really cute, but that's just an added little thing that if you know, you want to make sure that it sits up on a mantle really cute. But you can see all of them look really cute and they rock really good. Do you love it? Yay! They're so adorable. So also let me know if you guys are interested in doing a product-based class with the um, Latte Love. Let me show you that bundle. So it would be the Latte Love dies. 
This is a brand new online exclusive item that's coming on March 5th. I must, I misspoke last week. I thought it was March 4th, but it's March 5th. So these are the dies. I've not even put them on a magnet sheet yet, but aren't they cute? You got the little um, French press, I think it is, or cold. I call it a cold press just because I make iced coffee that way with mine. But you got all these cups. This cup right here cuts out the designer paper, which I'm going to show you that. You got a coffee pot, little tiny coffee cups. You got the coffee bean die. It's just, a, and then the spoon. You can see the spoon right here. Isn't it cute? So this is the Lotta Latte Love dies, and then this is the stamp set. So I used the greeting, hello there, let's catch up. Thanks so much. This one's on... This one's on me, and then this one's you're the best part of my day. So cute. And you know when you guys do a lot, lot, latte coffee, they make the cute little creamer little designs, like the, the heart and the little flower blossom. So that's the kind of um, thing that Stampin' Up! did with the designer paper, which let me show you that. So this is the designer paper. This is a little latte, and of course the, the paper comes in 12 by 12, but in the class I'm thinking you're going to get a, a pack of, a quarter pack of the designer paper. So you'll get maybe one or two pieces of each, I'm not sure, I have to figure it all out to make it cost effective, but you'll get um, the cards, I'll design the cards and you guys can make the cards right along with me with the videos. So these are the papers, that one looks like mocha. Love it. Then this is the one that cuts out with that die. These are the cups that I use for this card right here. And all I did was it's just hand cut out the cups. And they're really super easy to hand cut out. But this one matches the dies. This is the back side of that one. Looks like little coffee stains. And then that's the one I used on the front of my card here. This is the one that I used on the circle pop-up. See the hearts? And then the last one here with the coffee beans and then the clips of coral and the daffodil. Aren't they pretty? So this is the little latte designer paper. Oh my gosh, Lori! <laughs> that sounds terrible. All right, so just do a shout out if you're interested in the class and I'll come up with something I'll make. Uh, maybe we'll include six cards, three of each. No, three card. No, sorry. How do I say this? Six cards, two of each. So you'll get three designs of the three cards that use this bundle. And then maybe I can offer you like one if you don't want the bundle and you just want the card pack. Or if you want the, the, um, the bundle with all that stuff. So... Yeah, well, I'll do a couple options. I just haven't even started thinking about that because I didn't know if I was going to have enough time. And then also with the back order, I'm kind of worried about that. So um, just let me know if you guys are interested in that. But it doesn't start until March 5th, okay? So we're getting down to the point where I'll start collecting the money if you guys are interested so I can order everything and have it here. And then I will ship it all together. And then I also use these cute little adhesive back swirl dots. Look how pretty these are. Can you see the swirls in the, the dots? These are in the suite too. So I'm thinking I'm going to figure something out where you guys get these free with the product based class. So this is all in the suite. There's also ribbon, but I haven't played with that yet. So we'll see about the ribbon. So cute. Isn't that adorable? I love it. I'm so excited about that suite of product. All right. Any questions, you guys? You're going to make the monkey one today. Ooh, Margaret, that's so exciting. I buy all the stamps and have to do... What is that? I missed that question or comment. Sorry, let me scroll back, see if I can see it. I used the same set for my hubby's card today, too. Oh, Kim, that's so cute. Isn't that B? Be my Valentine, perfect. But just to let you know that even though it is like with hearts and stuff, just know that you can use that any time of the year because there's so many cute sayings. 
and it's playing on the B. It's not playing on the val I think there's only one stamp in the whole stamp set that says Happy Valentine's Day. Where did the stamp go? Hold on. One moment, please. <laughs> there it is. No, I didn't even bring it over here. That's why I can't find it. But I think there's only one stamp in that whole stamp set that has Happy Valentine's Day. So, but it's so cute. And I know today is Valentine's Day, but you guys will love the whole suite of this too. The bees and the punch and the designer paper. It's just so perfect. The card for Richard is so cute. Ah, thank you, Shauna. You'll always be mine. Or you'll always be the one for me. And then look at the box, too, that I've given to the girls. I gave Lori one, and I'm taking two tomorrow to two other ladies. Be cute. So I use the B, even though tomorrow's the day after thing or after Thanksgiving. Oh, my gosh. After Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, please, let's not go backwards. I don't think I could do another Christmas. It was too exhausting this year. All right. Let me see. I think you're right. Okay, somebody's answering somebody. Um, I bought the latte love with thighs, not the punch. Hmm. Yes, the latte love has dyes. It does not have the punch. Did I misspeak on that? Yes, this stamp set has dyes, not punch. The punch was from the cow. And the Be My Valentine, that has a punch too. But the cow, the cutest cows is a punch. And this one is a die collection. I'm trying to think where I put my dies at. Maybe I put them in here. Yeah, they're in here. So this stamp set has the dies. This will be out March 5th. Along with the designer paper and everything else. All right. They don't sound happy. What's that? I'm missing a conversation here. I want to be a part of it. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> oh, somebody. Yes. Lori's upstairs vacuuming. She's cleaning my floors. She comes out once a month. And that's what I really like her to do is just clean my wood floors because I can't get on the floors anymore and then clean my bathrooms. So, yeah, so she's here today. She was running late. Usually she's here in the morning, so you guys don't even hear all that. But I thought the latte love was dyes, not a punch. Yes, I think I clarified that, Carol. Yes, it is dyes, not a punch. Sorry, I must have misspoke. Please forgive me. It's not, it's not a punch. It's a dye. Never seen a rocking card like this. Oh, Judy, that's so awesome. I think this is the first time I've made one too. And it was so fun and easy. The dies make it so nice. Remember the deckel dies. If you guys don't have these in your collection yet, I highly, highly recommend them. Because like I said, there's like 16 dies in this one collection of all circles. And we love circles. But you're only using the second to the largest for the card base. And then you're just folding it in half. So it's such a really fun, easy card for anybody. And look how cute. I love it. So these are in the annual catalog, if you're wondering. And also the stylish shapes are in the annual catalog, too. Also, if you guys need the Celebration Mini and the Mini Catalog, please let me know. Reach out. Let me know in an email if you guys want the current catalogs, the mini catalogs, and then I would need your address. I would willing, I would be willing to send you guys the catalogs. I just need to know your address because there's nothing like having the catalog right in your hand. You know what I mean? Okay, when she's done, please send, what is that? Oh, <laughs> Lori. <laughs> she's on a schedule. Yeah. How do you use the other faces? All right, so you know what? I think, hold on. I haven't done it myself yet either. Yeah, I think you just punch it out with white, right? Let me see here. Let me get some of that cardstock over here. Let's try it. All right, we're going to experiment here. So I would say take the punch. Where's the punch? Right here. Grab that. Okay, so you would build the face instead of just stamping it and coloring it. 
you would build it. So you'd punch out the face, right? And then you would punch out, say, I'm just going to use the white because I don't have any other color over here. But you would punch out the little, the nose part. That would be probably right here. Right? All right, let's see here. Let me get my stamps off of here. Let me look at my kit. All right, so, oh, you know what? That looks like it's the nose. No, that's not the nose. Those are faces, right? Yeah. So petal pink would be much cuter for the nose part. So let me get the face right here. I think this, yeah, this face right here. Let me put this on here. So we're gonna stamp the eyes. Right, on the cow. Stamp the face. And then you would, this would be like the petal pink. Let me use my pink post-it note just to show you. This would not be that, but just let's just say, okay? And I gotta punch my post-it note out with the piece of cardstock because my post-it note's way too thin for that. So let's just say this is petal pink, just for giggles, right? So we're going to punch out his little nose, right? Make it a mini dimensional. And then you would put the dimensional on his little muzzle. Oh, that's like his nose, right? Oh, you know what? Maybe I should have punched out his nose here. Maybe, but look how cute. I would have stamped his face maybe on there. Here, let me try that again. Let me flip this over. Let me cut out the nose again, or the knot of the muzzle part. Let me stamp that at the same time. Hold on. I'm going to figure this out. All right. So I'm going to lay this over top of my face. Right here. Where did it go? Oh, it's right in my punch. All right. So before I put my dimensional on, I'm going to stamp the face. So my mouth goes on to the muzzle, maybe. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to lay this over top of his face. Like that. Are you guys following me? <laughs> so I'm going to try to stamp his mouth onto the muzzle part. Yeah, like that. And then we're going to put a mini dimensional on that. Because if I put the muzzle over that, it's going to cover up the mouth that I just stamped. You know what I mean? So that's cuter. Right? And then you can take your marker. Let's take. Let's add some hair on the top of him. I'm just going to color in some hair. The black, kind of like the image on my stamp. And then take the petal pink color. It's definitely cuter when you stamped it with this face, I think. But it's an option, you know? Yeah, because the other, the face is already stamped. So I'm thinking it's just building it like that. You know? But look how much cuter the stamped is. But you can take the muzzle and stamp that on there too if you wanted. Like this. Hold on. Let me see. I don't know. Let me see. Let me see the face. We're going to stamp this nozzle or this nose right there. Then we're going to take our punch. Oh, that's upside down. <laughs> Boy, after all this, hold on. Let me get my scissors. I gotta stamp it upside down for the punch. It's all good. All right, let me stamp this upside down. I just want the muzzle part, right? Yeah, like that, maybe. Oh no, that doesn't even fit on there, does it? Let me see. It's a little bit smaller. Yeah, that doesn't look good. I don't know. 
I'm thinking with just petal pink, you just punch that out and then just layer it over it. Maybe? I don't know. That's what I came up with. That's not as cute as the stamped image. Maybe it's for something else in the stamp. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, and I think all the muzzles, the noses and stuff are the same size, so it really wouldn't fit that. I don't know. If anybody knows or another idea, let me know. I would like to hear it myself. Okay. Let me see. Any other questions out there? I wish we would have gotten the B set. It's just so close to the last B stamp set. You know, we've had a lot of animals. We've had the otters. We had the hippos. We had the cows. See, there was another cow set, but it was different. It was a celebration. Wasn't it celebration? No, maybe it was in the mini catalog. And then we had the, um, what else did we have for animals? Yeah, I wish they would have more of the punny stuff. Like the watermelon set that's in the, the Celebration Mini, like the watermelon. That's such a cute stamp set. But it would be so much cuter if it had like your one in a melon. Um, you know, just really cute punny stuff. No wonder I couldn't find them in the catalog. They're making it hard for us to know everything they offer. I know, Gladys. Right into Stampin' Up! They listen to us. But, you know, I feel like studying the catalogs, that's what having the catalog in your hands is so much better. Because you can actually look through it really, really good. Let me scoop up this paper here. You can really look through it page by page. When I mean, I'm, there's nothing wrong with looking at it online, but it's just so much better in person holding it in your hands. You know what I mean? It's just a lot better. Oh, yeah, the sheep and the chickens. How could I forget the chickens? Yes, the ducks and the pigs. Yes, I don't remember a bee one that was very recent. I mean, I know there was a bee, like a, like a realistic bee, but that was not like cute and whimsical bees like these. I don't think there was a bee set like this in a long time. So maybe it's another set you're thinking of. I don't know. I just don't remember a bee like that. Zoo crew. Yes, those are all animals. They're so cute. Hadn't heard of that. I have no clue. Thanks for trying. All right, Angie. So, oh, the donkeys too. Yeah, look at all the animals we've had. They were all so cute too. I think I have most of them too. I know I have the chickens and I have the cow. Monkey, the goats, yes, the hippos. You guys got good memory. <laughs> Forgot about the, the goat. The greatest of all time. We had a bee punch just a year or so ago. I don't remember that. Will you sell a PDF for the latte class? Yeah, I think I can do like three different things. One with the product-based class. One for just the cards. That if you already have the bundle, you can just get the card kit. And then maybe just the printable. Or the, yeah, the printable. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Aw, oh, thank you, Angie. Thank you. You broke down and got the deckle dies, well, or the deckle circles. You'll love them, Angie. Love the rocker cards. Thank you. All right. All right, let me give you guys another glitter giveaway. Let me see, what do I got over here? I brought some stuff over here. Where did I put everything? Hold on a minute. I thought I put them all right here, but maybe not. Let me get my envelope. All right, how about these? These are the festive pearls. They got some pinkish colored red ones up top here. These are the, I think they are, 
maybe um, they're a red color. And then the like a mint matte bronze, silver and gold. They're really, really pretty. Silver or festive pearls, sorry. Festive pearls. Let me give these away and then I'll let you guys go. All right, let me get my spinner. All right, let's take this off here. Cute cards. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you, Diana. All right, let's go ahead and spin. These are for the festive pearls. Oh, <laughs> that was fast. Michelle, Michelle Rickard. Michelle, do I have your address? Let me write down this one here. Michelle, do I have your address? Michelle, can you email me here? Let me get you my email address. Ooh, I'm down 90% here. Dawn at the Glitter Pit dot com. Dawn at the Glitter Pit dot com. And give me your physical street address, all right? Michelle, you won these festive pearls, but I need your address. So you have to email me here, all right? And give me your physical street address. Hopefully, as soon as the video ends today, you can drop me an email and I can get these all packaged up for me to drop off at the post office tonight. These are the festive pearls. Yay! All right, so congratulations, Michelle. Yay! Also, I had so many of you guys request where I got my sippy cup. This is my sippy cup. We only tease about it because Richard got me this for my birthday this year. And it's a sippy cup for an adult. And I put iced coffee in it. But I got this from Nespresso. And the link, I do not have an affiliate or anything with it. But the link is over on my blog from last Friday. So I've had a few of you reach out and ask me about my sippy cup. Because look, this has got a lid for the straw. Alright, I'm going to attempt to tip this over. It doesn't spill! Oh! Yes, it does! <laughs> yes, it does! It does spill, but I think it just came out. Yeah, it came out of the straw hole. <laughs> it's all good. But it doesn't normally spill out from the straw. Wait, let me see. Let me see this again. There we go. You have to push the straw all the way down and it doesn't spill. So I had the straw out. So put the straw lid on and then it does get wider here. So all you have to do is just push this down. And then it's... It's a... Uh, it doesn't leak. <laughs> I was um, not doing it correctly. So, but it does not leak. So we say we got a sippy cup like Griffy. Because Griffy has a sippy cup, you know. So these are from Nespresso. And I think they're called the Ice Coffee Tumbler. They're not actually called a sippy cup. You guys know how I like to name everything different. But they're on Nespresso. But my blog post from last Friday, the link is there so you guys can see that. So, But thank you for reaching out and asking about it. And then I just thought I would just go ahead and post it on my blog in case some of you wanted to know, but you didn't ask me. Oh, yeah, the ladybug. Yeah, that's still current, too. That stamp set and punch. Look at my mess. But it's not that bad. It didn't get on Richard's card. That's all that matters. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, guys. Last call. Thumbs up, please. Oh, thank you, Nina. Yes, yeah, so please, if you have not subscribed, or please go to your YouTube channel and make sure, or go to my YouTube channel and make sure you're subscribed. It should say that you're following or subscribed, I think. And then also, please give me a thumbs up. Share my video on your social media. That would be so appreciated. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm going to find out what's going on with my YouTube channel. YouTube has not been promoting my um, notifications to you guys that subscribe. Because I have like over 112,000 subscribers. And some of you guys aren't even finding out that I'm going live. And I post on social media over on Facebook. I give you guys the newsletter out every Wednesday at 2.15 to let you guys know I'm going live. And then also on my website. So I don't know what is happening, but something's got to give. So if you guys could just double check that you are definitely subscribed. Maybe they unsubscribed you for some reason. I don't know. But it just makes me really sad. But hopefully one of these days I'll find out what's going on so we can fix it. All right? 
but thank you all for sharing. Most of all, thank you guys for sharing and coming in here every Wednesday faithfully. I look forward to seeing you guys all in the chat. I love our time together. This is what I have really a lot of fun. It blesses, it blesses me as much as it blesses you guys. Just coming here and hanging out in the early bird chat and the glitter pit, all that. So next Wednesday at 3 o'clock, we'll be here, all right? So I will see you guys then. If you have any questions, just reach out. Email me here. Dawn at theglitterpit.com. Email me. You can text me. Contact me on Facebook. I really will say I'm not really on Facebook a lot, but you guys can text me or email me. This is my main contact, all right? So any questions about celebration, signing up, I would love to help you, all right? Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys next week. I love you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye.